Greetings everyone! In today's video I'll show you how to create the day and night cycle using the 2D lights brought by the Universal Rendering Pipeline. I'll be using the interface coding techniques in this video. Also it's highly recommended that you watch the previous video about how to apply the 2D lights in your scene the correct way. This is Ramis al from Binary Lunar and let's get started. In the previous video I created this forest scene which contains a lot of sprites which have uh, lit material to get lit by the 2D lights and I used a lot of or various kinds of the 2D lights in my scene for example I used the global light to light all the sprites on the scene I used some point lights, used some freeform lights to light the edges of this cave. Also I used sprite lights for the uh, light shafts of the sun. So I categorized each type of lights in a group. You don't need to do that but I prefer that to keep the scene clean. Let's start coding by creating the day and night cycle controller. For this script, we will use an interface called day and night interface. It will contain two functions, one get component and the other one set parameter. We will use this interface to set different kinds of parameters. For example, we get component to the light and we set the parameter, the color of it. We can get the component material and set the color of that. Also, we can get the component, for example, audio source and set the volume of that. So, each item used that interface should have those two functions, the get component and set parameter. So, let's then go to the main script. We need a range between 0 and 1 and a float called time, which will represent the cycle between day and night. Zero means day and one means night. And we also need uh, a list of day and night interfaces. We call them setters and we need a bool called day. So we set that to true during the day and when it, sh it reaches the night, when it reaches one, we set it to, f to false. On enable we set the time to zero and we set the day bool to true and we call the get setters function and in the get setters function we get all the components which inherits from the day and night interface and we call the get component function from them and in update we check if we have any setters in our list we set the parameter for each one using the time float Save the script and drag it to the light game object which is the parent of all other lights and other game objects which we'll be using in this project. And now we are ready to create the setters for all kinds of other things like the light color, material color and the volume for the ambient sound effects. Now let's create light color setter script which will be using a gradient to control the color of our light. This script will inherit from day and night interface, thus it will have two functions, the get component and the set parameter based on the time float. So we need now a public gradient to be able to change the light color based on that gradient and to be able to get reference to the 2D lights we need to use the Unity Engine Experimental Rendering Universal in the beginning of our code to be able to access the lights 2D. So we create a public list of lights which is 2D lights and on the get component function we get all components of the type 2D light and in the set parameter function we set the color for each light in the lights list based on the gradient value over the time. Let's drag that light color setter on the global light and we can now change the gradient based on the 
day and night cycle so we can set in the end the lights will be something like dark blue and in the middle we can use something like bright orange I think that will do it and to test the results in edit mode we can go back to the day and night cycle controller and set that to execute the codes in edit mode now if we go back to the day and night cycle controller and move the slider between 0 and 1 in the middle it reaches the bright orange values and in the end it reaches the dark blue values and that's all about the concept of this day and night cycle we'll apply the same for all other lights so for all other lights just to drag the same code the light color controller change the gradient to the light to the colors you like uh, and that's it once we you click play it will get all the lights in the child and apply the gradient value to them based on the time I did the same for all the types of colors for the point lights for the sprite lights and for the freeform lights now as you can see everything is changing except the background because I set the background to be unlit so it's not affected by lights and to change the background I got another background which contains the stars we can see now because it it's layer order minus 100 while the main background is minus 50 let's change this to minus 10 maybe we can now see the stars background for night what we want to do is to apply a gradient to uh, the material of this background a gradient from white to fully transparent something like this let me show you so if we have this main background and change the alpha to zero it will choose us the night background we'll try to apply this concept using the material so I created first a simple unlit shader unlit material called it it's very simple shader it gets the texture from our from the sprite and just rendering it unlit that's it simply then I created a material it's normal unlit material and just dragged or select for it the unlit shader then I applied that material to the main background after that let's create a new script let's name it material color setter the material color setter is simple as the light color setter it will inherit from the day and night interface it will have two functions the get component and the set parameter using the time float it will have a gradient and string color property name and the material itself we get a reference for the material by getting the component sprite renderer and calling its material then we set the material color using material dot set color and we pass the color pro property name usually the main color property name is underscore color with capital capitalized C and then we evaluate the color based on the gradient color value over time now drag the material color setter to the main background and set the gradient to be transparent in the end set also the color property name to underscore color with capitalized C of course hit play and that's it as you can see now when we move the slider between 0 and 1 when it reaches as it reaches 1 it start to get transparent till we it, it reaches fully transparent to show the star background behind it 
And as an extra, I added two ambient sound effects, one for the day and one for the night. It's two game objects, each one of those have an audio source. The day ambient contains uh, bird sounds and the night ambient have night sound effect like night insect sounds. And I created an ambient volume setter. Let's add it to both of them and show you the code briefly. The same concept, we used the day and night interface to inherit from it and I have a bool if it's day or night and a reference for the audio. So in the set parameter, if it's a day, we set the volume to 1 minus time and if it is night, we set the volume to time. So that means as we go toward the night, the day sound get decreased and vice versa, the night sound get increased. Let me show you in the scene. So just to check the day bool for the day ambient sound effect and hit play both of them now set to uh, sorry the, the day ambient is set to one because it's day yeah as we go to the right now in I'm in the middle so both of the volumes should be in the middle as you can see the day and night. As I go to the right to, toward 1, the night ambient got 1 while the day ambient reached 0. So now we got the sound effects for the night. To make everything automated we can go back to the day and night cycle controller and say if the time is higher than 1 we set the bool day to false. If it is less than zero we set the day bool to true then we say if it is a day the time we do a math lerp from the current time toward 1.1 to make the value higher than one and we do the lerp during time the delta time I and I found that multiplying with 0 0.15 is a good value for the lerp else if we are at night we do a lerp from the current value toward the minus point 0.1 to make the time less than zero which turns the day bool to true. Save the script and hit play. Now everything will be automated for the lerp from the zero to one. That means from the day to night and when it reaches one it backs to zero which means back to the day. And that's it all for today's video. You learned how to create the day and night system, how to change the lights color, how to extend the system to change any other properties like the material color or the volume of your audio source. Thanks for watching and special thanks to our supporters on Patreon, Benjamin Vinge, Daniel Chanchez, Imatel, Jace L. Fever, Jack Crystal, James Valentine Lowland, Kojo Opuni, Lord Mogor, Pedro Mohamed Aiden, Rick Jakobowski, Stabilirion Kanevolf, Transongs, and Elise Salihov. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss the next videos. Till next time, see you soon.